Good morning and welcome to Cheche, the show where opinion counts, live on Citizen TV. I'm your host, Udwak Amimo. Now, the office of the governor will be vacant in two counties today after the nullification of an election victory in one case and in the other, an impeachment. Today's show focuses on the latter. Martin Wambora has the dubious distinction so far of having been impeached twice while in office as the governor of Embu. I say so far because there are moves to oust governors in about 10 other counties. Mr. Wambora is our guest on Cheche this morning. Motegin Jao of Royal Media Services and David McCulley are in the studio as the Cheche panel. Good morning and uh, welcome to Cheche. Um, you were first impeached in January. Uh, reinstated in February. Um, again, you were impeached, and the Senate um, yesterday um, upheld the decision. There was just one lone dissenting <laughs> voice. Um, how do you feel about this? Impeached in February 14th, reinstated by the High Court, sitting in Kirigoya on 16th April. Uh, impeached yesterday, and unfairly, and I'll be reinstated again because there are no impeachable charges. I'm completely at peace with myself, as you can see. My constituents of Embu County, also my voters, have told me not to resign, not to resign because there's nothing impeachable, which is which has been put before the Senate. So it sounds, and like that's what I'll be proving this morning. Right. So it sounds like you're defying the Senate. You don't accept their I'm decision <laughs> as final. I'm not uh, defying the, the, right. the Senate. The, their constitutional duty to do what they did, but the courts have a right also to interpret the constitution and also evaluate whether the charges which I was beached on yesterday meet the threshold. So in terms of the options you're exploring, it sounds as if you're going to appeal this time to the Supreme Court? I've already uh, filed uh, uh, the, case, uh, the appeal in the, in the appeal court. Court of Appeal. Uh, yeah. Court of Appeal court in, of Nyeria. Appeal in Nyeria. Okay. How sure can you be? Um, uh, how, how, do you trust the judiciary given that the first time around you were able to obtain a stay? Mm -hmm. And the second time around when the Senate constituted its committee to reinvestigate you, um, you were denied um, uh, your motion because the court argued that the charges were different. So can you be sure of fair treatment between the courts? Because it does seem as if there was some sort of, um, uh, you know, sentiment against you. You are referring to the High Court yes. in Nairobi. Uh, the court was entitled to a judgment. It was a preliminary hearing. The, today is a mention. There is a mention of that mm -hmm. hearing today. And uh, my lawyer will be asking for a three-judge ju uh, three bench or even uh, a chance to to go to the appeal court on those issues. So they are not settled yet. It's not settled. It was just a preliminary issue of conservatory orders. Okay. So, so let's the substantive issues mm -hmm. are still varied. Okay, so let's go to the substance of the issues Very then. Good. Um, you were found guilty of um, three, uh, on three charges rather, um, which seem similar to the uh, charges that were um, filed against you uh, the first time you were impeached. Yes. What is your understanding of the offenses of which you're said to um, be guilty. Very petty charges. Very petty. Very petty charges. Okay, that's your, okay. No, I'll, I'll just prove it. One of them is on procurement. Governors don't do procurement. If I do what the Senate wants me to do to get involved in procurement, because they're calling me hands off, then I would be truly impeachable. Since the law does not allow me to deal with the, with the, with the procurement issues, uh, then, of course, uh, it, it, it follows that uh, that I would not take responsibility for that. Who and, bought who bought the maze? No, let's go one by one. Mm -hmm. yeah. The first issue is the, about the, the maze. Pro, this procurement, yeah. The maze was procured by the supplies department in the county, and I can assure you, Otegi Jao, the process was good. It was competitive. He invited five quotations, four responded. And they gave the tender to the rest bidder for 3.52 million. 3.52 million. It went well. I don't see what the fuss is about. About the germination of the maze, that is not a procurement issue. It's not a procurement issue. 
the rains failed early and other reasons, but that has nothing to do with the procurement uh, officers at all. So I cannot even, uh, I cannot even uh, uh, punish the procurement officers. They did a good job on the procurement of the mess. It's not true that uh, they procured bad products so they could not mm -hmm. germinate? Seed, yeah. mm -hmm. No, 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 no. I don't think that is the issue. The issue is, if the, if, if the maize was bad, you know, in the, we have photos where some of the maize, you know, grew, David, in some areas. The, the, the rate of growth, I mean, of germination cannot be 100%. So mm -hmm. in some areas, it grew, where the farmers planted early enough, and some other areas, they did not grow. And in any case, you cannot condemn the governor for maize which doesn't germinate, because uh, that is not my area. Sure, the, no. the governor only comes in because ultimate responsibility falls on the procurement. If the procurement ended yes. up with a bad supplier of substandard goods or defective goods, which then end up not germinating, then there is somebody has to take responsibility. And who mm. should take that responsibility? Responsibility we can take if we knew it was deliberate. There is no way the suppliers would have known this mess is not all good. But uh, again, I'm saying we have evidence that this mess grew in some areas. So it's not 100% failure. It's not 100% failure. What is the other procurement issue? The other procurement issue is the stadium. Mm -hmm. Yes. The stadium, again, the, the investigation was very poorly done because it's being done by people who are not okay, qualified. Okay, just a minute. Let's understand what the issue with the stadium yeah. is. The st because it had to do what with is the, the charge? stadium a quote and then the cost being inflated. No, 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 no. There's no inflation of the cost. Okay. No, 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 no. It's here. Yeah. The procurement of maize for distribution, no, 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 sorry, the, the stadium. Yes. The stadium issue is right here. The upgrading of the stadium, uh, which, uh, which had a budget yes. of 8 million. Right. And um, again, it was done by the procurement department. And um, the issue here is uh, the investigating uh, of, uh, officials in the county assembly are mistaking, are mistaking engineers' estimates for Bureau of Quantities. The Bureau of Quantities were provided in October, November. Right. And the tender was done properly. What was brought in December was engineers' estimate for purposes of the budget. Because it was found that uh, the stadium could not be done with available funds. And the the, 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 the county executive committee and under my chairmanship and with the CECs and deputy governor, we had already agreed we need this stadium to be done to international standards. Not just the planting of grass and the manuring that grass and putting mm -hmm. topsoil and all that and underground uh, uh, <coughs> drainage system. And we agreed we need it to be done to international standards. And we provided for supplementary budget. As a, as, a, as a CEC committee, as a cabinet of the county. That's what I will take responsibility because we decided it must be done so that the youth can have a good facility. No, we understand and all, all that. that. So what is now, the claim? What, was the supplementary what is the budget? culpability? The you know? supplementary budget was not passed eventually uh, when these issues came by the county, county assembly, which is unfortunate. Uh, however, even the 8 million for which work was done we have not paid a single cent. No cent has been lost in that stadium. No cent has been well, lost in the Well, it has not been paid, but it will be paid because it's a liability already incurred by the county government, right? It's a commitment, right? isn't it? It's a commitment. Yes. And the commitment was, uh, was done, and the county assembly asked the Ethics and the Corruption Commission to investigate. I'm still awaiting that investigation. But the point but is, <coughs> the county government has already been committed to pay that bill. Whether it's already been paid or it's going to be paid in future, the, bill the will be county paid. government is yes. liable. Yes, yes, yes. So the fact of whether it's been paid, it's been lost or not, is not an issue yes. because that's already an expenditure. And there's no problem. The bill will be paid. So what is the big challenge about that? What the are the questions of accountability being raised around to, it? To confirm whether the procurement procedures were all followed. And that's the, what the investigators yes. of anti-corruption commission are doing now. Right. Yes. What so about the company that did the contract? Uh, of course, the, the, the contractor. They are waiting for that. They are saying there's a bogus one. No, 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 no. You know, Mutege, you know we discriminate sometimes. 
The rule is very clear. We must give the youth and women a chance in procurement. Because he's a lady who is his, pro his, his bogus. Even the Hunter General, mm. General was wrong by saying that this company did not have Minister of Works approval. Yes. How do you get Minister of Works approval, which is under me? In the county, it's already decentralized, isn't it? But we have a body called National Construction Authority. She had the authority. Why should we discriminate a lady just because it's a lady and say it was bogus? She's a friend. How can she be my friend? I don't know. In That's which way? I don't know. In which way? Well, you're okay. here. No, no, hang on, because, you know, he's asking you questions and you're asking him <laughs> questions back. Yeah. Whereas you're here, actually, no, but the, the question you told here. us. No, no, hang on. You told us that you were here to dispense with all these charges yeah, before yeah, you. And what, uh, and what we have heard, at yes. least what we've been told mm. in the press, mm. is that you had some links to the, uh, the company contractor. that was uh, awarded the tender. So do, are you linked to them or not? The, those evidence was not read before the committee of the Senate. It may not have been raised, there but are you linked not to them or not? Absolutely not, because I don't deal with procurement. Well, but you've said you're involved in that. In that one, you're point involved. Is no, that no, you no, have no. a relationship not, not with involved, the company. In, involved in terms of making a decision for the stadium to be done. Right. But not in the process. Now, let me The moment I get involved in the process, you, then I would be... Just to be clear, you give, don't let, have a relationship. They were not known to you. Uh, okay, fine. So, these are married people. But fine, and let I'm, me... I'm, I'm also married. So, I, what, what, I, I, why, I didn't why, know that. Why not would I have, uh, mm -hmm. why okay. would I have a relationship with you? No, no, no. types of relationships I wasn't talking about. I mean, may I say this? May I also say this? May I also say this? I'm not the one who gave the tender. It was given by interim county secretary, appointed by transition authority. Right. Sometimes in April, March, I just uh, had uh, some work being done on the roof. Well, they had clear instructions from the Transition Authority headquarters not to involve the governors in procurement. Right. And it's as good they did that. Okay. okay. You said yourself, as good they you did have said that. it here, mm. that you wanted that uh, project to be done on international standard. Yes, of course. And then you, went, and then you give to, to a company just because you want to help the youth and, and the women. I mean... If you are going to do an international kind of work, standard work, then you will have appoint internationally recognized contractors. No, 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 no. Are you telling me a youth or a lady cannot do work to international standard? If, I, I, I think Amazing. the bigger question here in, in construction and yeah. You must have seen it on works. TV when they were burning the, 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 the dead from the, uh, uh, this uh, poisonous brew. That stadium is beautiful. Oh, yes. It's beautiful. Uh, okay. The mm. issue that you are being... It's only that we must finish it now. The, the, the issue on which you are being nailed is that that company, of course, the law allows uh, uh, um, proactive, affirmative uh, action uh, for yeah. youth and yeah. women, in, and that is the state national law now. The problem being raised is that in the case of construction, companies which do construction must get certification from the Ministry of Public Works. Not public Works. National Construction Authority. I think we are behind the, the laws. So why is the we public works the coming types. in there? And why, why is the public <coughs> works uh, certification public being works, required? Public works are my officers who are supervising the job, who prepared the Bureau of Quantities, right. who prepared the engineers' estimates and all that. Yeah. Those are the people supervising the job. So they were doing it. So the company was registered with the National Construction? Absolutely. Okay. So, so what is the and issue? And that is a fact. Why is it an issue? Because the work of investigation is being done by the wrong people, by county assembly, and by the Senate. They are not qualified. What do you mean they're they not qualified? Can't, they can't you do investigation. They're not treating investigation. What about the... This ethics? one is being done by Ethics and Anti-Corruption Commission. Mm -hmm. and, and that you're satisfied I'm with? I'm satisfied with their decision mm -hmm. and we shall implement their decision. Okay. Absolutely. Okay. And they're also investigating the main issue. Right. Which they have already given me verbal report that there's nothing wrong with the procurement process. Now listening to you, it all sounds like one huge misunderstanding that snowballed. Um, to the extent that you've been impeached twice. For um, the same mistakes. Right. For, for the, the same on, on allegations. The, on the same allegations. Yes. Now, um, there are those who believe that you're being hounded out of office, that there's some sort of witch hunt against you. If that's the case, do you think you've annoyed someone um, to the extent that they want you out of office? After if we go through the five charges, mm -hmm. there are five actually, under procurement. Okay. But there are none under finance. There are none under constitution uh, of Kenya. 
we shall now go to the real reasons behind that. And I'm asking you, what the is the real, real reasons? Reason? Maybe, maybe, yeah, yeah, maybe he should finish with the, all the claims for yeah, the procurement. Yeah. Let's one go on. One. Let's we go have on. finished two of them. Yeah. 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 We, we have done two. We, we have done two. Let's yes. go to the fear course. Mm. Yes. The governor of Web County authorized purchase of new county fear course without any reference to the county tender committee. Yes. They are now telling me I didn't consult the tender committee, and they are saying there was no tender committee. Very interesting. It, it is coming. It's coming further on. Now, purchase of vehicles <laughs> is not done by the governor. I'll say again. I'll re keep on repeating these things. Governors cannot do procurement. It was done by the procurement officials, and I'm content that they did it well. These procurement officials they work for who? Of course, for the governor. They did a good job. So the governor has nothing to do with what goes on? No. So what is he the gov governor can't get involved in procurement, but the governor tells them, Governor Anataka Brando, my ministers will require four-wheel drive because of the field work. As per the, 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 the prescriptions or the, the, the circular of salaries and remuneration commission, they, they indicate the CCs. That one I did. Yes. Mm -hmm. I said for my minister, this is a kind of thing. For the governor, the, the deputy governor, specified. and also yeah. uh, the issue of uh, vehicles in the pool or revenue, <coughs> in the vehicles which will be collecting the revenue, you know, pickups. Mm -hmm. Yes. That, that one we did. Yes. So I'm in charge. The tender committee. What about the allegation? I'm in charge. Um, now, may I go to the allegation? Yes. yes. That I did not inform a tender committee. Right. And they are the ones who did this work. Now it becomes completely ridiculous. How do I ask me to inform a tender committee when they are the ones doing the job? But, but they also say that um, the procurement was done and, and one of your wife um, is driving one of these cars. But the vehicle, car. That's official vehicle which I've come with here. Mm. It's a governor's vehicle. Right. It's one of them. It's one of the vehicles bought mm -hmm. from CMC based on government surprise bridge award done by the national government. And I want to tell you, Amima, Amima, all these, all the governors bought vehicles. If it is Land Rovers, if it is uh, Kuga, if it from CMC, if it is Prando from Toyota Kenya, yes. Toyota Kenya Limited, right? Yes. All the ministries, these PSs, these cabinet secretaries, yes. bought vehicles from the same source. I bought, and because the national government had already done these tenders. And they are, they, they are ones who are already there. So how, how on earth would my committee would have gone tendering when already their ones are already there? And the evidence is all here. We have the evidence So here. you did not form the tender committee? Why form the tender committee? Can you see this? Mm. This, this is a circular number that <coughs> the Ministry of, um, of, uh, yeah. of Land Housing yeah. who, who normally host yeah. surprise branch. Yeah. These are awards. So you just ask for the vehicles and they pay. They are, the, the, the award was already there. All the other governors did the same. But Ministries but of the national government did the same. To, uh, so why on earth would you condemn a governor who is not purchasing these vehicles because the tenders, the, the tender awards are already let there. Me, let me correct, get some clarification here. Mm. Procurement officers are yes. not the same thing as a tender committee. The secretary of the tender committee is the head of supplies department. So do you have a tender committee or you have, you have only... Uh, 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 procurement officers. These are the members of the tender committees. Right. By names. Yeah. By names. And when were they formed? Because they are saying they are not there. There are four groups. There are four groups. Mm -hmm. uh, Transition Authority formed one in March. Mm -hmm. Then around uh, June, one of the members left. So it was recomposed again without him now. That's the second. The third one comprised, uh, by, which was formed by Mike. The then county secretary, not in transition now, comprising of principal officers recruited by the Public Service Board of Embu, County of Embu, and they are the ones now who formed the committee, and they are the ones who, who, <coughs> who are supervising this process. And the names are here, and we give this evidence to Senate, 369 pages of evidence, which they never read in February. How do you know they didn't read the... Because information? they still made decisions without referring to this document. And that's why this time around, I didn't see the need of appearing before a committee 
which it doesn't read document. Okay, we'll come to that in a minute since we're... You so know. now, about the vehicles, let me be yes. very clear. Let's finish with the vehicles. We are yeah. buying... My, my procurement officials did the right thing to procure vehicles. And the department is headed by a very qualified uh, uh, officer who is now... We lost him to now Kitui County. Yes. And yes. I was very sorry to lose him. Very, very senior. Who even gives lectures in procurement. Right. The okay. Senate committed in order to listen to this expert. Okay. And they did the right thing to just procure vehicles from national government supply branch awarded contract. Okay, that's okay. the third charge. That, the fourth charge. That, let's fourth go one. on. Let's go on. The fourth one, eh? Yes. yes. Very good. One by one. <clears throat> so, when you ask me to resign for nothing, I can't do that. Even my people would never uh, think I'm normal when I'm resigning for nothing. The, the third accusation is omissions and commissions in the report of Auditor General for the period of March to June. Yes. When all the procurement was being monopolized by the interim officials of trans appointed by transition authority. Mm -hmm. yes. And there was a special law which had been passed, which was only effective between January, 1st January to 30th September. Telling them to do all the procurement and not to involve governors because governors should not deal with procurement issues. And there were all the issues raised by the auditors of county assembly rehabilitation, of town hall where I'm housed, rehabilitation, the roofing and all that, the furniture, the equipment was done by these officials. Was done by these officials. My prando had been budgeted in the financial year 2012-2013 by the transition authority, 10 million for every governor, all the 47 governors. And we had an interim county secretary who had to procure this vehicle. By the time we went to procure it from Toyota Kenya, the figures had changed to 12 million. What was David Kaji, the interim secretary, to do? He has 10 million in the budget, so he reallocated two more million to be able to acquire a vehicle for the governor, me, who was, up to that time, was using my he personal sing vehicle. He singly reallocated two million. There was no process required for that additional allocation. Yes, yes, he did. He reallocated the funds, and he has been summoned by the counter The question, question is, not quite answered David's the question question. Is, did he was act um, individually, or did he bring that process, uh, did, he, did he take that process through a committee? The reallocation of funds. Now, because these people are not uh, updating us, I will not answer that question, but I know he was questioned by the counter assembly about these issues. Mm -hmm. the Even is after he came back to Nairobi. And I don't know why they didn't share that information with the Senate. Mm -hmm. It's really unfair when they don't share critical information. So they're using information selectively. So the finding there is that that allocation was ah, wrong my on point a procedural is because they have authority yeah. to do that, right? Let the authority follow that issue. Right. Now, Attached to that is the, the KPU, KPU registration number, uh, no, uh, registration KPU 683T. That vehicle is one which belongs to the governor. And it was very unfortunate for the chairman of the Senate committee to say that vehicle is registered in the name of my wife. That was unkind, very, very unkind indeed. And I want, to produce, I want to produce an original uh, copy of the records of Kenya Revenue Authority. Yeah, which is a copy of it. Is really which is a copy of it. Is, yeah, this is original. Mm -hmm. And we gave a copy of this original to the Senate Committee in February. Now can you see why I'm losing confidence? So how did it come committee? that they say the car is registered in the name of your wife? By the way, it's not in the report. Eh? Or it's, it's not in the audit report. These are just words they use so to, that's a to politicize the issues. And this, again, is wrong to be politicizing serious issues of this nature. Okay. I am really disappointed. All right, let's people. move to the next charge, the now, final one. the fourth one. But you have understood on this one, eh? The fifth one now, we are on the fifth one now, E, non-existence of the tender committee. Now, 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 now. You've showed us the... I've already showed you... Yes. Uh, a whole record of four tender committees, starting with the two transition ones, then the one of uh, principal officers. <coughs> what happened, David, here, is that when the counter assembly declared a war path 
in writing on a message to my county secretary. We are now on a warpath. After we exposed the irregularities, the first thing they did was to ask for a report on the mills and the stadium and to ask the secretary, the CEO of the County Public Service Board to suspend the principal officers who are members of the tender committee. That was January. <clears throat> you know, officers know how to survive, right? And it would have crippled the government if they had been suspended for no reason. So, somehow, the letters were plucked from the file of the appointment as uh, mem members of the committee in January. Those officers are still there working. The departmental heads at that time were the members of the, of the, of the, of the tender committee. But after we employed the chief officers, that's the fourth tender committee now. Chief officers are now the members of the tender committee. There is no government, there is no county government or national government which can operate without a tender committee. Okay. It's not possible. You had been asked to suspend the, the secretary. secretary. The secretary. secretary. And yeah. that is the genesis. <coughs> How this thing problem. blew out is yes. because you declined to suspend. Yes. Uh, to allow, according to uh, the reports we got that time, yes, to yes, allow yes. for investigation of her activities. Very Why did you decline? I'm very happy to hear your question because up to that moment, I did not come into the featuring of procurement. Even the minutes of the various committees of the county assembly were talking of accounting officers, CECs, and it should be, should be now the, the final person to deal with member, uh, issues of procurement. When she was not able to, 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 when she asked for extension of time be, to appear to, uh, before them, they, they, they sat the same day <coughs> and uh, passed resolutions asking the Ethics and, and Corruption Commission to probe her yes. and ask by copy of the letter to the commission, asking me to Fire. ask her to, sit, to step, step aside. aside. <laughs> and asking the Secretary of the Public Service Board to fire, to suspend the principal officers who are members of the tender committee. Yes. Now, you don't act <coughs> on such things without investigation. Now I'm seeing a copy of a letter I was in Nairobi on my email. And Kamara cannot act on emails on such serious issues. So I wanted to investigate what is the issue really. So I said I cannot ask her to stand aside until I found the real, until I reason to her. Because I was still, I was in Nairobi. Yes. So when I went, I, I was told the, the story. But uh, before long, she wanted to protect herself and she went to court. Yes. To make sure no action is taken, negative action is taken against her. So the court told us stay put until the case is determined, which was eventually determined in Kerwe along with mine. Yes. Right? Um, now, the issues for which she was to be fired are with the, with the Ethics and Anti-Corruption Commission. Right. But uh, this, this, these guys are not forgiving. They kept on hammering, hammering, hammering throughout. So. By these guys, you mean the county assembly? Yes, so the so <laughs> motion of impeachment also came about because I've refused to fire the county secretary. In and fact, you finally that was the genesis of your impeachment. That was the genesis you of my impeachment. You finally, and you finally fired her. Finally, I succumbed to public uh, good, uh, too much pressure. Because now we must work with this county assembly. They must pass my bills. Uh, I told her, just, uh, just uh, leave, just leave. Well, do you so have, that, you have so so that so we continue working. Did you have some relationship with her? She's a married woman. Not, not that. Very Even business-wise or other, other, other uh, relationships? Of course, no. Absolutely no. You, you can't have relationship with the officer. It's not possible. Right. Okay, mm. so we have to pause now. Possible. We've uh, gone through the charges. Yeah, those um, are the charges. Uh, and, and so when we... Now... No, uh, no, we <coughs> have to take a break now. Okay, okay, okay. Uh, this is Cheche, live on Citizen TV with today's guest. Uh, the embattled, shall we say, um, governor of Embu uh, County, Martin Wambora, because of course you say that um, you're not the former governor yet until um, your impeachment is gazetted. Absolutely. And your questions and, and opinions um, for and on him are welcome on SMS number 22422, and our Twitter handle is at Cheche underscore TV.